A devastating end to the search for a missing sub in the North Atlantic. The Coast Guard confirming wreckage found near the Titanic indicates the five people on board the Titan sub perished when the tourist vessel suffered a catastrophic implosion. Tonight, we are learning that a secret U.S. Navy acoustic system detected an anomaly shortly after the Titan lost contact. That sound is believed to have been the fatal implosion. KTLA Samantha Cor Cortese has been following the story and is here in studio now with the latest, Sam. Micah and Cher, this is a tragic conclusion to a days-long international mystery. One expert says the fascination around this sub mimicked the captivation of the Titanic itself. But tonight, the U.S. Coast Guard continues to comb the North Atlantic, looking for more clues about what happened to the Titan. Catastrophic implosion. Following days of an international search for the missing Titan submersible, we now know it's likely the five men on board died instantly. The debris is consistent with the catastrophic loss of the pressure chamber. Five major pieces of debris were found 1,600 feet from the bow of the Titanic. It's unclear if the sub imploded the moment it lost communication. Deep sea experts say a loss of pressure means a combination of crushing force and speed that would destroy the vessel in two nanoseconds. If there were ever a catastrophic implosion, you would never even know about it. OceanGate CEO Stockton Rush, businessman Hamish Harding, father and son Shazada and Suleiman Dawood, and Mr. Titanic explorer Paul-Henri Najolet. Many have since questioned the conditions and the curiosity that would inspire going on such a dangerous dive. Former passengers even shared concerns about the Titan. I just got the feeling that it was going to work until it wasn't, and that that was just only a matter of time, because things just seemed to keep, keep going wrong. But friends and family of the victims all say they had a passion for exploration, adventure, and the Titanic. Titanic has a way of sucking you in. And, and the more you, um, I think both in terms of both the story and in terms of um, diving down to the wreck. And so the, you know, the story in and of itself is captivating. And if you look very carefully, you can see right down there two hanging chandeliers. It's just, it's a very different way of seeing history. And because it's so far away and so remote and so hostile, um, an environment, it's, it's, I think there's a certain allure to it that is hard to describe. At the Titanic Historical Society Museum in Massachusetts, there are more visitors than they've seen in years. A huge increase. We would rather it be busier because of something else rather than this tragedy. I hope that this discovery provides some solace during this difficult time.